good day we have a ground fault multiple ground fault and this is the continuation of our ground fault troubleshooting that is on engine console we already put the fuse of engine console as you can see there is a ground fault okay we need a assistant tool to monitor this ground fault and then we go to we go to engine console at the engine room okay we need a two-way communication we need a radio then this is our fuse below our engine console we need to remove this one this is the fastest and easiest way to locate the ground fault in 24 volts this is the accurate one you need to remove all fuse because a simple tip when you remove the fuse and then the IR monitor drops means that is the fuse that is grounded or the that is the fuse that supplies on that equipment that is grounded please observe this number 20 number 20 fuse okay just watch it Almost to answer, papuntang infinite. Oh, nasa infinite na siya ngayon. As you notice, we stop at number 20. Okay? Because we locate the low insulation at number 20. But I sti I'm still removing all views so that, so that I can show you that this procedure will not get you get you in trouble if you remove all that fuse mga pumalo tumahas bali point zero point zero one four tumahas yung insulation to insulation na bumagsak po muntang infinite nasa infinite na Okay, papunta yung pinit. Okay, dami sa yun. Solenoid rock. Okay, number 20, solenoid rock. That is the VRC. We need to put it back, the fuse, before troubleshooting. Okay? Number 20, put all back fuse. Then, that is the fuse for so VRC. Confirm, that is for VRC. Means when you put it back the fuse, the low insulation ground fault occurs again. Okay? Then, we go to the VRC solenoid rack. That is on the solenoid rack for ballast. VRC system okay. there is a lot of alarm but we can rectify or reset after rectifying okay, this as you can see solenoid okay. valves open and close as you notice all disconnected means it means there is no connection on all solenoids but the solenoid is 220 I already include in cleaning only cleaning the connections but that is the uh, that is not the cause of ground fault and this is FIM this is the 24 volt supplied power and relay that is FIM KSB that is flow indicator that is for flow indicator that signals the opening and closing of the hydraulic valve okay continue removing the power supply including the relay okay this is the main problem that we can isolate 
because this is supplied with 24 volts the flow indicator okay all wires are disconnected and then found a one trouble BA29 and that is the theme is the problem I already replaced that one and then after replacing that one we need to reprogram that film using magnet but for now I also clean the contacts with contact cleaner if you have electronic contact cleaner quick dry much better okay that's it problem solved okay by the way we, ne we need to clean this connectors all connectors it's because that is cause of low insulation or ground fault okay we already clean all components including solenoid valves film indicator flow indicator it's because when the oil penetrates on that pcb of the flow indicator that is caused with a ground fault okay i hope you learn from this one and then thank you for watching If you learned from this video, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates. Also follow us on Facebook Barco TV. Thanks for watching.